We've specifically designed our menu so it's, I suppose, not too prep heavy when we get on site. We want to just be able to rock up and sell. The first time I came, I probably left about two and a half hours. So I always cut one and just check that it's not too thick. But now I probably leave about an hour. You kind of just get on with it and you want people to be buying this great food, so yeah. So we, we meet up from Tuesday till Tuesday or Wednesday and um, we have to prep all our fish. So we get our fish from Billings Gate, get it all prepared. Um, that turns into goujons, which uh, there's a lot of work getting into it before you get to a goujon. And then on the Thursday, if we're trading for the Friday, we'll get our goat ready. So you have to kind of cook it, par cook it for quite a while to get it like just right. And that's the same with our octopus as well. So we prepare that on, uh, on Thursday, trade on a Friday, uh, a Friday or a Saturday. So yeah, that's that's really our week. The sauces are made, the tzatziki, I've got my mom's recipe as well. So the bread is handmade the as well. The bread is handmade, not by me, but have somebody making it as well. The day before, I roast my beetroots, cut them up, um, head and tail my beans, and toast my pumpkin seeds, roast my uh, cashew nuts, um, and then also uh, get my pomegranate seeds out, which is the most time-consuming thing ever. So yeah, this is stage one, I suppose, in the pulled pork process. And it's rubbing. I formulate my pork rub and beef rub separately. I give these ribs, um, it depends on the size of them, minimum eight and a half hours, maximum maybe 10. I mean, I, I cook a lot of stuff at home, so we do a lot of work at home. Our braised burger like pork chicken is braised for six hours in Minocco, so we get that on and then we, we prep them between that. We'll go shopping on the Tuesday, make the sauces on the Wednesday normally, and then we've got um, a day like, well, then we'll be uh, selling it on Thursday. The dose of batter gets made about, well, in this weather, about eight hours in advance because it ferments really quickly. It'll take me a day prepping the masala because there's so many elements to the to the masala paste. And then it's just lots of fresh herbs, um, crispy onions in a lot of our dishes to add like a nice deep onion flavor. Um, and then lots of chutneys. It'll take me about six, six hours to make one batch of chutney. The idea really is just to show them to the barbecue, just to get the flavour. Because the most important part of the cooking is after, and they slow cook. On the day, I uh, cook my chicken, and then I cook my beans, um, and then add really good olive oil. I've got me, my ducks are just knocking down with some bass cider. I've got the cherry at puree heating through. Just finished off the tortilla for my pinchos. We've got the braised virico just, uh, just reheating and then we put it all in the uh, bainery to make it sit for the day. We bring everything to make the dough. We don't make any dough at home. It just really depends on how busy it is, but we like to do it as fresh as possible. We use the hob to heat the butter, make the batter, and then everything's fried and cooked to order. We do a lot of the cooking on site in terms of currying and so we've got all our spices with us um, and yeah we, we do a lot of things on site we try as much as possible to kind of do the activity here yeah straight on pancake goes on the fillings go straight on top of it and within about i think a minute and a half two minutes it's cooked then it's rolled and served